And now here we have a beautiful looking EG6 with a 5th generation B16A EG and look at the car inside, it looks really good, it's well done, well capped and even the engine has ITR manifold, it's all good, right? Here on the inside, look at that, just so clean, ready for track use. And of course, as usual, we compression test. Your favorite. And then we pull out the engine and start working on it, disassemble it and have a look at the block and you can see it's all fresh and all good, right? And also we inspect the head before we delve into the work. So you know this one is just for you. First things first, our new page is up and running and the link will be in the description below. I had to make a new one because I lost control of the old page because my personal Facebook got hacked so it got disabled. We have the price list there of the head porting, engine rebuilding, cam degree, and even ECU tuning, all the basic stuff that is all often asked. We got the prices there and also he posted some good stuff like, you know, the basic how to's on VTEC conversion and also all the previous projects and we actually use the page to update all the stuff that we do at the shop. This way, every single comment or question is there, we try to answer it as quickly as possible, just like I do with the comments on these videos here on this channel. So I'll see you guys there. Let's get the likes and this follows up to match the channel. Let's go, let's go. Okay, this awesome EG6 is owned by Anton and he told me before he got it, he got it from a, a fellow named Victor. But originally, before Victor, it was owned by Dondi. And if you guys are an OG from Honda Club Philippines, the forums, Dondi owns and runs JDM Select. It's an awesome store that's been around since the beginning. And even in the forums, I was using my username in Honda Club forums here is Slash. And so he always carries good stuff, like original JDM stuff and all the good stuff from the US. So obviously, naturally, this hatchback is all good with, with all the good stuff. I mean, like it has an original Cusco roll cage. That's really awesome. And also this runs a fifth generation B16A EG or an OBD1. So it has B30 pistons, and of course it runs a tri y 421 header, an SMSP copy that's made by Blanche locally. And so, and of course it has a carbon fiber Suchinoko intake, so that's really cool. And the plan here is to rebuild this B16A, and of course Anton wanted was hoping to reach 180 with horsepower. That's gonna be quite difficult because it only, it, he only got an ITR cam. I wish it was a CTR, but we're gonna deal with what we have, which is an ITR cams. But he opted for a full port work and including porting the intake manifold, the ITR. So that's gonna be left for me to do much work in order for us to reach the goal. It's gonna be really hard, but hey, it's gonna be fun. We're up for the challenge. And of course, hopefully we Anton can get a CTR pistons because that's really, really gonna be needed here. I mean, and I'll take care of the breathability of the engine with the intake ports, exhaust ports, and even the intake manifold. But of course, we need more compression. This way, we make full use of the ITR cams and surprise everyone, including us. Okay, now let's check out the hatchback one more time. Here it is. It looks really, really good and clean. Quite simple, but just the way I like it. Okay, now let's look at the engine bay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. B16 AEG with an ITR intake manifold and a Sushi Noko intake. Yes, the B16. So let's look inside here. Just the way I like it. Simple yet functional. No need for rear seats, but the front seats are type R and helps us be secure when we're using it on track. Here it is. One more. Cusco roll cage. It's made by Safety21, but this is an original Cusco. Yes, Narita dogfight sticker. I love checking out that blog before before all this video came up. I always check them on their website. And yes, Nurburgring sticker of the circuit, the Green Hell, Norge Life. One of my favorite in Gran Turismo. Alright. See, this hatchback looks really, really good and clean. 
and the Cusco roll cage looks really, really good. And yes, before we disassemble this, of course, let's go and do the compression test, shall we? It's okay. Okay, cylinder number one. Okay, 225 PSI on number one. Oh, interesting. On number two is 230. All right. Oh, number three is 225 PSI. Cool. All right, 225 PSI also. So, hey, that's pretty good. Props to Anton for taking care of this car and this engine. That's really good. So now let's pull it out. Let's disassemble it. Let's go. Okay, and as we remove the stuff one by one, like the intake and all that, and here it is. Full dis disclosure, we couldn't find the size 17 12-point socket, so we couldn't remove the flywheel, so we just removed the head now. But by the time you watch this video, we probably received the order that we did we got for the socket set so we'll be focusing on the block and all the other details on the next episode so now let's go to the desk all right now here are the good stuff anton found someone selling golden eagle cam gears we obviously used but i told him and i we, he knows that the golden eagle cam gears don't really wear out or you know as long as it didn't come from a wreck it's still as good as new so it's going to do the job. So here it is. It's silver. So perfect. Looks going to be really looking clean and all that. So now here, remove the ITR cams. Let's get this, speed this up. Because it has all the tape. So it's going to be safe. Yes, yes. So there's no rust. Okay, now here it's almost off. All right, there you go. Let's look at the intake. Okay, the intake looks, you know, pretty fresh. It's like not really, you know, neglected or used badly. So it's all good. Yes, and now let's look at the exhaust because the exhaust has the certain markings to show that it's an IDR. Well, you know, if, if it happens to be a CDR, perfect, but I doubt. So there, it's an IDR cams. So yes, this is gonna be good and ready gonna be perfect okay now so now let me bring you the intake manifold because that's where a lot of the work they're gonna do to reach the goal or at least try to reach the goal we're gonna be working on the intake manifold really well here you're gonna remove the all the debris on the flange side so that we can actually perfectly port match this to the head once the head is done we cut it here as you guys have seen before and also here on the back side so that we can open up the plenum we can port it properly from the plenum f to fix the well not really to fix but to improve the runner entries of each of all the four so yes and also we might actually run a 70 millimeter throttle body just to help the breathing of the engine that's gonna be good right so now let me bring you guys the cylinder right here all right, now here's the head. And first we go check, before we check the ports, let's check if it's milled any. Here on this part here, and also here on the other side, that's the spot, that's the place where you check if it's milled or not. And we actually made a video earlier on how to check if, it's the, if the head or the block is milled, you can check it here. This link will be in the description below. All right, so now let's go to the block. Let's check it. Here in this spot, one of the four spots that you can check on the block. 
Let's check it. They were just checking it in a crude way, you know, just to show you guys, you know, just to just to give an idea on how to check it. Wait here, let's make sure we get the depth correctly. All right, here we got the depth correctly, and here it is. If it's stock or unmilled, it's point between point zero thirty eight to point zero forty two. So this is unmilled, point zero forty one. Let's look at the block here, B sixteen A E G. Yes. The engine is actually quite fresh, and that's props to the owner for maintaining it really well. And we're just going to degrease this, and the block will be really good. Then hone it, and of course, drop in the new pistons. Hopefully, a CDR pistons. So that'll be good. So now let's go back to the head. Okay, here, back of the desk, and we're going to check on the head, on the spot, the two spots there. Let's check it. If it's unshaved and factory, it's between 0 0.038 to 0 0.042 inches so that's like anything around one millimeter that's you know factory unshaved here it is you see it's 0 0.041 so yep this has no z has zero mil so that's quite good and quite fresh for the engine Other side yep all right yes sir and of course you know like the video if it's it's something that's good for you guys because it helps the alg algorithm spread the video to wider audience so that's very much appreciated and of course subscribe if you haven't because we're always gonna put content like this is gonna be so cool and so this way when you're subscribed and hit the bell notification you'll be notified whenever we have good stuff now let's look closer to the head here you go as here you can see on the bowl there's a bit of core shift but that's fine because we're gonna work on that on the bowl and we got a video on that so and including the valve seat yes we got a video on that we actually did it around two years ago and it's here of course you it'll be in the description below but we also made a far more extremely more detailed porting video of how to do it on a type r or like a type r which is on the members only so hey, you gotta check on that because we also have a dyno of that. And here is the regular video of the dyno, but also we have an, a top members only video of the dyno that talked about the tuning, the cam gear adjustments, and all the things that, how it worked with the certain head that we did with the pocket porting and all the other stuff. So it was an extensively done video on a dyno sheet on a dino session sorry it's a 15 minute video so that's really important okay now so let's scribe off the old gasket material we'll make sure it's clean this way we can cut the new intake gasket for it and you know get a pattern for the intake manifold and the head all together now let's look at the close to the ports yes now we focus wait sorry i'm sorry about the phone all right as you can see, the core shape is not too bad, actually. I mean, you know, the floor and the roof is not like left and right too far apart. This is actually pretty decent. Now with better lighting, let's look at it. You got, I suggest you guys check out the pocket porting video. This way you can see what we do for the bowl and of course, making way for the valve job or the multi-angle valve job that we're gonna use. So that's gonna be really good. And of course, if you guys can, on the top member or the gold member section, that has a good set of details of a head of what we did, especially we were, we were talking about the angle of the grinder or how we hold it together, how we use it for reference, just to make sure it's everything's aligned. So, yep, and here it is on uh, the photos. The core shift is pretty decent on this one. This is quite, quite a nice core, actually. So this is going to be get ready to be turned into a type R soon. Yes. Okay. Now for now, we cut an intake gasket so we can show you guys how we check the pattern. Okay. And here it is. As you can see the intake gasket is perfectly matched to the head itself. Right. As you can see now this, when we transfer it to the intake manifold, then we can port match it exactly like the head. But... To be able to do that, we're going to do this. Let me show you guys. Wait, let's put this on the side. Oh, sorry. All right. Now we time lapse this. We put the intake manifold with even with just one ball, just make sure it's aligned well. And we scribe a line on the outer side of the flange or the outline of the flange. That is, as you can see here. 
right okay okay now we remove the intake manifold now we see the pattern right so now here let me show you closer now when you remove that intake gasket you can align the intake manifold itself like this and make sure it's perfectly aligned like how it is on the in on the cylinder head on how it's aligned and here on the other side let me show you you would actually see now how it's mismatched and all four runners are not the same like here four and three there's just a little bit work of work needed to be done but look at one and two that's quite offset right not just offset but like the whole roof is too far off so this lets us port match this perfectly and when you think about it the head ha hasn't even been ported yet so we gotta make sure it's gonna be aligned really well and of course here a little story i gotta tell you guys my friend josh that owns and runs motor carp solutions in australia in melbourne did see this project and said he's gonna hook us up with a pct pistons type r so that'll be cool so i gotta tell that to anton or to the owner because it's gonna be a hookup price so it's gonna be a really good deal and of course this is their facebook page and of course here is their also their instagram motor carb solutions do check them out and of course if you're in melbourne the melbourne area they're the place to go to because he degrees tunes and does everything i do so next episode you know we're gonna be very technical on the block and head as soon as ready you know it's gonna be good and of course you can always just click it here